Hi, I'm Leanne and today we're going to take a look at self-care and how full is your cup? Is your cup flowing over? Is there enough in your saucer to pass it on to others? Or is your saucer rather empty? And is your cup rather empty too? If you are functioning from an empty cup, then you have nothing to give to those around you. So self-care is about taking a look at what you've realistically got right in front of you and how you can consciously start putting things back into your cup. So how can you emotionally fill yourself? How can you spiritually fill yourself? How can you physically fill yourself? And some of the things that you can take a look at doing is Going back to the basics is making sure that you've got enough sleep, you're drinking enough water, and that you are also breathing. Breathing is one of the easiest things that we've got in our hands to just start getting our systems to calm down just a little bit. Those are not the only things that I want to take a look at. There are three things that I want us to focus on that sometimes rob us from our ability to take really good care of ourselves. One of those is unrealistic expectations that we place on ourselves. The other one is a lack of boundaries. And the third one is the inability to pause. The inability to go and just take our time. So when we take a look at unrealistic expectations is we may all, we know that Proverbs 31 woman and we might all ascribe to trying to be like what is set out in the Bible and we may all fall, feel like we fall short. But I was reading another book called Successful Moms of the Bible, it's this book over here, and in it, I got the chuckles in coming across a sentence that said, if the Proverbs 31 um, woman was a modern day woman, she would either be tired, mad, or dead by now if she tried doing all those things. And I thought it was um, yeah, quite funny coming across that because reading it on a deeper level is one needs to reflect back on what was what the expectations were of that time. And if we try and apply everything to right now and compare to trying to do it in the level that it was done back then, we may think that we need to be doing more. So we actually need to go and take a look at what are we comparing ourselves to? Who are we comparing ourselves to? And if we are comparing ourselves to all those around us, we can be guaranteed that we are going to fall short. So rather go and take a look at what, what is it that you need in your cup? What was your cup made for? Was your cup made for soup? Was your cup made to hold the best cappuccino? What was your cup made for? And fill your cup accordingly to, to that, as we were all made for different things. If we take a look also at this cup, if this cup didn't have these firm sides, I couldn't put anything inside of it. So likewise with boundaries, we need secure boundaries so that we can hold things together. And that is where we keep ourselves safe from those things around us and where we can function in a healthy way. I came across this, this um, quote on Facebook recently and it went and said, boundaries is the distance at which I can love you and me simultaneously. And I thought that was just so awesome when I went and I reflected on it is that when we've got that boundary between us and us caring for those around us, if we've got that healthy boundary, we can do both of them at the same time. We can be filling our cup up and we can have something to give to those. We can have a full cup plus a saucer to hand to those around us. But in order to do that, we need to go and take a look at first filling the cup up and not trying to fill the cup and the saucer up at the same time. Because that's what multitasking is. Sometimes we need to go and say no, no to multitasking, to just take a pause away from all the multitasking and go and say, I'm going to focus on one thing at a time. I'm going to go and sit at the Father's feet and just rest for a moment. I'm just going to invest in there so that through that investment, I can start to bubble over to give to others. 
So take a look at what you're measuring your upper, yourself according to, where are your boundaries, and if you're multitasking, focus on one thing at a time. Be blessed and take good care of yourself.